This video was brought to you by Bombfell. Head over to bombfell.com slash filmradar to get $25 off of your first order. Behind every memorable character is a memorable costume, and behind every costume is a costume designer. Their job is to create a look for each character that serves the needs of the story, sometimes to make a character stand out from the crowd, sometimes to blend into one, but always to make sure that they're clothed in the appropriate attire. That's the definition of good costuming, yeah. that it's the most appropriate. That's the most appropriate thing for the character to be wearing in any scene. Deciding on what would make for the most appropriate outfit requires a deep understanding of character and story. As a costume designer, sometimes we're more like psychologists, figuring out our characters, where they would shop, what kind of clothes they would wear, how messy or neat they were, where they're stationed in life. And, and basically, we set the time and the place with our costumes. The first step to designing a great costume is understanding the script. For each character to feel believable, you have to consider everything about that character when designing their wardrobe, where they're from, their financial situation, how fashionably conscious they are, and not to mention the specific context of each scene. Princess Anne in Roman Holiday should be wearing something elegant while fulfilling her royal duties, and something rather dressed down while incognito in Rome. This is what we call transformation through wardrobe. The main thing is that I want to be very sure and explain to you that fashion is not the primary thing, the primary effort in motion pictures, is to tell the story. A good costume designer knows how to analyze a screenplay much like an actor would, to get inside the head of the character, to develop an understanding of the world that that character belongs to, and to design the wardrobe accordingly. After a thorough reading of the script, the costume designer will begin conversations with the director. Each director will have their own unique vision for any given project, and it's that vision that every crew member on a film should be working towards. It is a true collaboration in that we're all reading the same screenplay. And the screenplay has clues, but then you have to have the conversation with the director, and not just one. And a lot of conversation with the director because it's the director's movie, right? Um, maybe not at Marvel, but you know, it's, it, it's the director's movie. Those conversations are crucial to understanding what themes are going to be explored, the transformations a character may go through, and how the costume should reflect that. How color can be used to subtly imply a character's pride in their heritage and subsequent journey to a new country. Or how it can show us that a character has fallen in love, or to show us that a character has fallen out of it. A costume can show us a character following in his father's footsteps, a character's descent into a criminal underworld where moral lines become increasingly blurred, or foreshadow a character's affinity for pretty things. There is something about him that is slightly vain, that little neckerchief that he wears. So again, it comes back to starting to let the audience know beforehand that there is something about Smeagol that isn't as endearing as a hobbit. There are endless possibilities for costume design to contribute to the storytelling, and that's something that the costume designer and the director will work closely together to achieve. Once the vision has been established, the costume designer will often enter the research phase, an essential part of the process that doesn't just apply to a period piece, but even something like fantasy or sci-fi, because more often than not, you're pulling from real-world examples to influence your design. But even a contemporary piece still necessitates research to understand the culture or economy of any given setting and the characters that exist within. Creative license is often taken, the level of which is ultimately up to each director and designer, but regardless of how much liberty is taken with the historical references, it's still important to have a base level understanding of the history governing the clothing so that the work feels grounded in reality. Nearly every design choice has a practical function underlying the aesthetic. Understanding why something is designed a certain way allows a designer to create a costume that feels convincing within its narrative. This of course involves further collaboration with other crews, such as the hair and makeup department or the production designer to follow the same guidelines as far as color palette or tone to make sure that each costume can fall into place within the larger tapestry. 
Before any design is manufactured, it starts as a sketch. Not only does this allow for quick changes if a certain fabric or color isn't working with the rest of the crew's designs, but most importantly, it saves the entire production valuable time and money. It also gives the costume designer the opportunity to explore their best options based on things like budget, the specific actor, or a costume's functionality, say designing an outfit that can cover the stunt rigging for Neo in The Matrix. But whatever criteria may be influencing different design decisions, I think the most important thing to realize about costume design is that everything you see a character wearing, from the lead actors to the background extras, is designed. Nothing is random. Everything in the frame is designed to tell one story. The reason that everything is designed is because in film, everything matters. With a camera, you can zoom in and get close to every single part of the human body. Um, and you can tell if a, a shirt has been pressed or not pressed. You can tell if sh shoes are cared for or neglected. You know, all of these little things that help give the audience clues about who the, the character is. Once sketches have been finalized, the crew will begin manufacturing the costumes. Sometimes things can be pulled from a shelf or rack, but the vast majority of costumes have to be manufactured to maintain continuity. All of these clothes are manufactured. Um, okay, design and manufactured. Why? Fight club. So many fights, right? You could not just buy a piece, you had to have... Doubles, right, triples, right. quadruples, right? This is the thing most people also don't realize, that the clothes don't deteriorate through the course of making a movie. Every <laughs> scene in which they're deteriorated is a separate piece. The scale of the production is entirely based on the size of the budget and what's needed for each film, but it's not unusual to have hundreds of people working on costumes for any given project. Expert tailors, cobblers, blacksmiths, tanners will all come together to craft the costumes that you see on screen. And for a film like Ben-Hur, that involved creating thousands of costumes that were all researched and designed for every single background actor, even if they only appear for a few frames. Two crew members at Weta Workshop famously lost their fingerprints after making the chainmail for all of the different suits of armor required for the films, which had around 13,000 rings per suit. But it's that dedication to the craft, to getting every single detail right, that makes these movies great. Costumes help to tell us something about a character and the world they inhabit. They aid the actor in the transformation process and help them to deliver their best performance. They become important pieces of iconography surrounding any classic character whose outfit is often the most recognizable part about that character. The costumes that stick in your mind are the ones that the character has inhabited and the character has really come alive in, and that's why you remember them. That's the, that's the goal, I think. And just like a costume designer will create an iconic look to help tell a story, you too can tell your own story by how you choose to dress. But picking out clothes can be hard, stores don't always have the right size or style that you're looking for, and it can be frustrating to spend hours looking only to walk away empty-handed. Most of you have probably already heard of Bombfell, but for the uninitiated, they're a website that pairs you with your own stylist to send you the right clothes every time. They work off of details like height, weight, body type, and style preferences to put together an outfit, send it right to your door, and from there you have a 7 day try on period to decide what you would like to keep, and if there's anything that you would like to send back. But before they ever send you anything, they give you a preview of what you're about to receive, with 48 hours to communicate with your stylist about any potential changes you would like to make. So as long as you've provided the correct details and work intimately with your stylist, who you can message at any time with questions or concerns, sending anything back will be a rare occasion, which is not only great for your convenience, but the more you keep from every order without sending something back, the more money you save. I personally was sent three items in total, and I ended up keeping all three, because I worked with my stylist, expressed concerns when I had them, and I had my order adjusted to fit my needs. Everything fit and looked great, and all in all, it was an incredibly easy experience that I would recommend to any guy out there struggling with his wardrobe. If you head over to bombfell.com slash filmradar, you can try it out for yourself, and you'll even get $25 off of your first order. No matter your body type or what style you prefer, your stylist will work closely with you to make sure that you get something that you'll love. So again, that's B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L dot com slash F-I-L-M-R-A-D-A-R to get $25 off of your first order.